this is Mary with All Things Automotive, bringing you here today a 2019 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LDLT. This vehicle features a 5.3 liter V8 engine with four wheel drive. There have been three previous owners and there have been no accidents or damages reported to Carfax. As we get closer to the front of this vehicle, you'll be able to see that it is a sleek silver icy metallic with chrome and black accents as you'll be able to see there on the grill as well as down around those tow hooks. We'll come along here to the side and take a look at this pickup's tires and wheels. This vehicle features black 20 inch XD series wheels. And as for your tire treads, you have got a lot of life left in them. But I'll get you those exact measurements in just a second. As this vehicle, along with all the other vehicles here at All Things Automotive, has undergone a new multi-point inspection, as well as received a fresh oil change, a new cabin air filter, and a new engine air filter. So you don't need to worry about replacing any of those anytime soon. One more thing before we enter the vehicle is I do want to point out you do have these lovely black running boards along the bottom to help you get in and out of the vehicle with ease. We'll now take a look here to the inside of this pickup. Here on the inside of the vehicle you'll be able to see you have some lovely jet black cloth upholstery on these seats for a smooth and comfortable ride. And I'll just take a look in the glove box and bring out the results of that multi-point inspection that I was talking about. As you'll be able to see here, you've got green checks the entire way around. And as for your tire treads, you have 15, 30 seconds in all of your tires. And as for your brake pads, you have 14, 30 seconds in both the front and the rear. So you have a long ways to go before you need to replace any of those wearables. We'll come along here now and take a look at the rear occupant seating. This pickup can seat a total of six people as that middle seat in front does hold up to become an additional seat. And down below on the floor, you do have all weather floor mats to help keep your floors nice and clean. Here in the center, you also have a power outlet to charge these rear occupants mobile devices as well as pockets on the backs of both of those front seats. We'll take a look over here at the door because all the doors do have several different storage compartments in them as well as powered windows. We'll now continue our way to the rear of the vehicle. As I make our way back, I do want to point out that you do have front and rear wheelhouse liners, as well as a corner step here to help you get up and into the bed with ease. We'll now take a look to the rear of this pickup. Here on the rear of the vehicle, I do just want to point out a few things. You do have a pre-installed tow bar for a trailer hitch hookup, as well as a spare tire underneath there. You also have a backup camera to help you whenever you're parking or going in reverse. And I will just put down this tailgate. Because as you can see, this half ton pickup does have a bed that's about six and a half feet, so you've got a lot of space back here to haul some really nice loads. You also have a spray in bed liner to help protect the bed from anything you put back here. I'll just put this tailgate back up and we'll continue around now to the driver's side. And while we're making your way over here, I do also want to point out you have a soft to no cover up top there to help protect whatever you put in the bed from elements. And I would also like to mention that with the purchase of this vehicle, you do get two keys for your convenience and to help prevent you from ever getting locked out. This pickup does have powered windows and mirrors as well as powered door locks. And over here on the seats, all the seats do have four directional manual adjustments so you can move your seat forwards, backwards, and then tilting the seat forward and back. You also have a tilting steering wheel so that can go up and down to fit you as you like. And to the left of the steering wheel, you do have your dashboard backlight controls as well as your headlight controls and four-wheel drive shift. I'll now just get in the vehicle and turn it on for you. This vehicle does use its key to start as compared to a push to start. And now that the engine's running and the dashboard's lit up, you'll be able to see this vehicle has about 75,274 miles in it. We'll take your attention over here to the right side of the steering wheel because over here is your dashboard navigation buttons. So with these, you can cycle through all the different information and services this vehicle provides to you. Right beside those dashboard navigation buttons, you do have your voice controls as well as your call controls as this vehicle does have hands-free Bluetooth. And on the left side of the steering wheel, you do have your cruise control buttons there. We'll now take a look to the center of the vehicle. Here in the center of the vehicle, you do have a lovely LCD touchscreen display. And I'll just throw this pick up in reverse to show you that backup camera in action. Right underneath that, you do have your volume knob here as well as the home button for a set display. A bit farther down is your climate controls right here. Further down, your traction control and your bed light. You've got a small storage compartment that folds out there as well as the power outlet up front here. 
Lastly, we'll take a look here in the center because you do have three cup holders here in the center, as well as your main storage compartment here with a divider that does fold up and down, an aux cord plug-in, two USB charging ports, and then a power outlet inside as well. And like I had mentioned before, this middle seat does fold up to become an additional sixth seat. We'll now move on to the last section of this video. Here in the last section of this video, we do want to address that this vehicle is pre-owned, so we'll be looking around for any blemishes, nicks, or stains. We know a lot of our customers come from very far away, so we want to be as transparent and straightforward as we possibly can be with the purchasing process. We want you to know exactly what you're getting with the purchase of this vehicle, imperfections, and all. So as I'm looking around the inside of this pickup, I do notice you have some faint, faint discolorations on the visor. But other than those, as I look around, nothing else is really standing out to me. So I'll move along to the outside of this pickup. We'll be looking up and down again for any of those imperfections. Here on the driver handle, you do have several bits of wear and tear as it is the most used handle. And we'll come along here now to the front. Got a little bit of staining here as well as some stone chipping from things like gravel or stone chips on the road. Stone chipping is extremely common. Most vehicles have them. The only way you can really prevent them is just by not driving the vehicle. And that black plastic at the bottom is protecting the lower part of this vehicle from those. You've got a significant leak there. We'll come along now here to the passenger side. You've got again a few of those little stone nicks on the mirror cap. And it might have been flung up by those tires here a bit as well. Got a little bit of discoloration there on the bottom of that passenger side rear handle. I'm gonna come along here now to the rear. Now, typically on pickups where I do tend to see several nicks and scratches, is here in the top of the tailgate as people don't take care of putting items in and taking items out. And as you can see, this pickup does have several of those nicks on the top, as well as some discoloration there in the bed, as that spray and bed liner is doing its job of protecting the bed and absorbing all of those. We'll continue back around to the driver's side. A little bit of a nick there, another one there. And we are back to where we started. That generally concludes this video vehicle tour. This pickup has a lot of great features to offer. If you're interested in a half ton silver pickup with the ability to seat six, a good amount of space in the bed with a spray and bed liner, corner steps, soft to no cover, pre-installed tow bar, rear and front wheelhouse liners, black assist steps, two keys, tow hooks, all weather floor mats, XD series wheels, and four wheel drive. This is a good option for you. If you're interested in this vehicle, come and check it out at All Things Automotive. Located at 21518 Great Cove Road, McConnellsburg, PA. Or you can give us a call at 717-485-4224. You can also check out this half ton pickup and other listings on our website at www.allthingsautomotive.com. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.